What's happening with y'all, man? Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button, player. It don't cost you a penny. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell right there. And you'll get the notifications. You feel me? Man, let's go. Today, we're going to talk about the Kumis mostly, but doing time with my Africano brothers in general. You feel me? Uh, specifically, in high desert. High desert, man. I had a real a real solid line of communication with the, uh, with the blacks, especially the Kumis. Um, y'all that don't know, Kumis is a is a Bay Area thing. You feel me? It's, it's the Bay, pretty much the Bay Core. But I'm not gonna get into too many details about them. But it's pretty much the Bay Core and the Pen. You feel me? It's their big dogs. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, you guys gotta bear with me. So yeah, man, the Kumis. They did not like the Southsiders for nothing, bro. For real, so the blacks did not, especially the like. Well, some a lot of bloods too, but they did not like the Southsiders, bro, at all. The motherfuckers would kind of like walk like around our area, and uh, I'd be right there like playing pinochle with them or something, and like the the motherfucking coomies would turn like the side of their eye and be like motherfuckers, like can't stand them bitches. <laughs> and um, a lot of times it's because they had uh, past um, you feel me incidents. Little, little melees and, you feel me, riots pop off and shit. Motherfuckers hold on to that. And so, they, they, they held on to that hate, man. But as far as with us, man, it was purified, bro. Really, really purified. And there was never no tension on the yard, you feel me, with us and them. Uh, because they had good leadership, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying this at every prison, but it depends on the leadership. A lot of people get on here and say, oh, the blacks don't um, politic. They don't structure, you feel me? And uh, that's bullshit for one. It depends. Like, every prison is different, bro. So it depends what prison you're at and it depends what leadership is there. You feel what I'm saying? Um, you might get to a pen where it is like that, where that motherfuckers ain't checking paperwork or whatever, and then you get to another pen and motherfucking the blacks is super programming. You know what I'm saying? Because they got strong leadership there. But at the same time, that goes for every car too, though. Not just the blacks, you know what I'm saying? You, depending on which race, uh, depending on what leadership is there, it might be a little slack, it might be a little tightened up. You feel me? More tightened up than others. You feel me? But there was one Bay Area dude who did not like us for shit. And he was a, uh, I forget his name, bro, but fuck that nigga. He was from the Bay. He was an older cat. And uh, he didn't, like, bro, we, we'll go on lockdown, right, for like a removal or something. And this nigga would come out and porter, but ain't like nigga check up on us and like you feel me, nigga. When we when y'all go on lockdown, we check up on y'all, so we respect we respect vice versa. You feel me? The same respect. This nigga wouldn't do shit for us, bro. And at the same time, it's like you always had an attitude towards the homies. And the homies, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, well, fuck this dude. Was, like you know what I'm saying? Fuck him, man. He was uh he was just a piece of shit. Always had always like uh. Because I guess what happened in a different prison, I want to say Quentin or something, he, uh, the homies got into it with him, and the, I think the homies stabbed him or something, or tried to stab him at a different prison during a different riot, you know what I'm saying? And he brought that same hate back towards high, toward, to High Desert. He ain't never did nothing, though. He ain't never said nothing. But you could just tell he didn't fuck with the homies, which was cool because we didn't fuck with him. You feel me? Bitch-ass nigga. Uh, uh, but beside that dude, man, uh, a lot of the blacks is cool, bro. Like, it ain't like, oh, I got your back, you got my back type shit, but it's it's, it's, it's cordial, you feel me? Like, niggas sharing CDs, bro. Uh, like, if if I'm cool with my neighbors, bro, like I said, they're head on canteen. They'll be like, hey, whoa, whoa, what's up, bro? You need some coffee or something? If I needed it, they'll slide it. And vice versa, if they needed something, bro, I'll slide it. It's just out of mutual respect from convict to convict, you feel me? And uh, that's just how it went, man, as far as doing time in high desert, you know what I'm saying? Cause high desert is a very uh, dangerous prison, you feel me? Uh, and it can it can pop off at any minute, just like any other prison. But high desert high desert is historically known for popping off at any given minute, you feel me? And uh, the bloods, the bloods from down south were cool as shit. The bloods from down south was hella cool. They uh, I fucked with the bloods tough. The NC core, the Northern Crip core, fucked with them tough. Uh, fucked with all the Crip stuff, but 
NC Car was I fucked with them tough because you feel me they from like Sac Stockton that area you feel me Sad Ho, uh, and yeah Sad Ho got Crips man for all them that say the Bay don't got bloods or Crips that's a lie nigga San Jose got Crips and they black nigga <laughs> and San Jose is the Bay yeah so it may not be all lovey dovey you feel me but it's still that line of respect you know what I'm saying it uh, only time it wouldn't be is if. Like, they're a bunch of J-Cats, and they're really not programming, you know what I'm saying? And, because, uh, we don't respect that shit. I respect, I respect when you have order and or structure and within your people, you feel me? I respect that shit. So, and if they didn't have that, then there wouldn't be that line of communication, I don't think. But since there was that, we did have a strong line of communication, especially with their leadership, man. Shout out my nigga T.Y., man. Hopefully you out there, brother. Hopefully you out there, brother. Um, that's about it, man. Shout out to all the Kumis, man. Shout out to all my Africano brothers out there, man. Free y'all. Uh, free all the thugs, you know what I'm saying? Free my brother. You feel me? And uh, we're going to keep this shit lit, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, and I got uh, another video dropping about the skinheads. I know y'all wanted that video. So the skinhead video coming soon, man. Them white boys is crazy, bro. Whew. I'm gone.